Place the rail on pre-made cutting table or in a suitable position. Fasten the rail into positioning hole of table with the T-bolt. The rack on the rail is placed on the left side of the controller, so the rack on the rail should also correspond to the left side as well. Install heat shield on right side of controller. Hold up the horizontal rail and observe the position of the bearing in the case. Slowly insert the crossbeam into the case from the right side of the machine and slide smoothly. Pass the horizontal control line through the inside of the beam from left to right. Plasma cutter will use the torch connection. Pass the copper connectors of cutting gun and the plasma output line through the beam from right to left. Take out the lift gear and the fixture. Put the fixing bolt through the beam installation hole. Stick the cutting torch bracket on the beam and then fix the lifting with bolts. Fix the clamp at the positioning hole at the lower end of the lifting and tighten the bolts. Pay attention to adjusting the screws of each part to control the angle. Connect the four core interface of the control line with lifting gear. In the flame cutting function, the gas related copper joint is a reverse connection and the oxygen related copper joint is an orthodontic connection. The three solenoid valves are connected to the bus bar on the beam according to the front and back of the wire. The stainless steel plate below the solenoid valve prevents wire burns. Put the flame cutting nozzle into the cutting torch. The blue air pipe in the middle above the cutting torch is made of hyperbaric oxygen which is connected with the solenoid valve of the two core circuit. Other pipes are connected according to the front and back of the thread. Tighten all the connection. The switch box on the left side of the machine needs to be connected with external wires which are arc voltage and control signal wires of plasma function, horizontal control lines and 220 V power wires. Bunched together to prevent pulling and damaging the wires. The English letters on the numeric keyboard of the controller hold down the shift key first and then press the letter key to take effect, such as the combination of shift and M keys to switch the working mode. You can switch three modes of flame, plasma and demo. For more buttons, please refer to the manual. In the initial interface, press F1 to enter graphics management, select graphics, modify, etc. and press F8 to save. The machine can read the cutting code stored in the USB flash drive. Press the F2 key to enter the file management. Select the USB flash drive file. Press the up and down keys to turn the page to select the cutting code to be opened. Press F4 to enter the parameter setting interface, and then the actual running speed can be modified in F1 common, and other parameters can be modified carefully. Press F3 component option in the main interface, you can select the starting point direction, copy arrangement, steel plate angle correction, mirror symmetry, etc. The space key on the keyboard can directly enter the cutting mode. F1 to F2 can choose to make the cutting torch move forward and backward along the cutting track. or preview the frame range of the graph, etc. Press Shift and M to change the working mode to oxygen gas cutting and switch the button on the left side of the machine to flame. The air inlet on the left side of the beam is connected to gas and oxygen respectively and the fire is adjusted. The buttons below F4, F7 and F8 are preheating oxygen switch, cutting oxygen switch and turning off fire. When adjusting the fire, open the preheating oxygen first, gas and preheating oxygen solenoid valve will be opened at the same time. Adjust the preheating oxygen and gas knob so that the flame is bright white and the fireworks center is hemispherical. Press the cutting oxygen switch to open the cutting oxygen and adjust the cutting oxygen knob. Press close to end.
Take a water-cooled plasma cutting machine as an example. The connection of the water pipe can be ignored during the installation of the air-cooled plasma cutting machine. The out and back of the water tank are connected to the in and back of the plasma cutting machine. Select the voltage and cable according to the model. After connecting the power cord, close the power cord cover. Compressed air is fed into the plasma inlet after passing through the pressure reducing valve. There are arc voltage and control signal interfaces on the back of the plasma which are respectively connected to the arc voltage and plasma switch interfaces of the CNC terminal. Pay attention to the line connection is firm and pay attention to protection so as not to cause short circuit. The front of the plasma cutting machine has gas and electricity output, water and electricity output, backwater and arc. These are connected to the plasma cutting torch. The grounding wire connects the plasma and the cutting work bias. Turn on the power of the plasma and water tank. Turn on the plasma test gas or gas check switch or open the check cutting valve to make the plasma cutting gun continuously. During the continuous air outflow, the value of the plasma barometer needs to be stabilized at 0.450.55. The intake value can be adjusted by lifting the valve cap. In the case of sufficient air pressure, the strength of the airflow can make the skin on the back of the hand significantly depressed. Turn on the power of the CNC and arc voltage height controller and switch the controller and the left button switch to plasma mode. In the parameter setting page, find the plasma and modify the relevant cutting parameters. New users only need to adjust the perforation time according to the plate thickness. Change speed, perforation time, etc. According to the recommended parameters of the manual. Press the position test key of the arc voltage regulator and the torch should be lifted 3 to 5 mm when it touches the steel plate. Adjusting the knob can change the positioning lifting height. Keep pressing the arc starting test button for 1 to 2 seconds. Before the plasma arc starts through the steel plate, the red digital tube will display the ideal arc voltage value during work. Change the green number to the required arc voltage value. When plasma is working, pay attention to the status indicator on the left side of the arc voltage height controller and the status indicator on the right side of the CNC.